<laughs> this is my best friend, Garth Elgar. Hi. I think we'll go with a little Bohemian Rhapsody, gentlemen. Good call. It's me, Dylan, and this is The Real Cinephiles. Brian now has a girlfriend. We don't know if this is going to be true in the next episode. Trump, Trump, Trump won. Uh, um, Lock her up. John is still very hot. Um, Matt's, Matt's, Matt's playing Fallout. Thanks. <laughs> um, who are you? I'm Katie, the one that Dylan didn't say anything about. Yeah, because you're going to do your own introduction. Hoo-ha-hoo! <coughs> okay. Hoo-ha-hoo! Okay. 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 Katie and I are still broken up. Happy? <laughs> Jesus Christ, all of you. Okay, episode 9. No main topic. Six, nine. We weren't on last week because Katie was upset. Oh, I'm it was literally. windy. I couldn't come over here because it's cold and ice. I literally never said that. No, we were here and we were sleeping. Yeah. No, and then we were going to record on Friday, but then she's like, oh. My nipple. I was going to go get my nipples pierced. Okay, great to announcing to that to the world. Yep, now everyone I, knows. But then, I, but then I went to go to the store and, they, and I didn't have enough money, so I had to come back. Yeah, asking Dylan for money. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm. Dylan? I don't know. Huh. Okay, uh, let's, go, let's start with the Blu-rays, just for the heck of it. Uh, last week, Sausage Party came out. Ooh. I saw this steelbook at Target, and it's just Frank the Sausage just standing there, like, waving, and it's actually really funny, and I, I kind of like I know, it. I'm serious. I don't know. I love Sausage Uh, Strawn, actually, uh, it's not for everybody, but I would say buy it. What, sausage party? It's not for everybody. There are people definitely who are going to be like, ugh, no. This Everyone who voted for Hillary wouldn't like it. <laughs> Actually. Ew, a sausage? Ew. A party? I, 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 I a sausage ass? I went with Davina, and Davina liked Hillary. Oh. I'm surprised. Well, did, uh, did Romit like it? Yeah. Oh. Who else I, did I you see it with? the most. Who, yeah. who else Just did you see with? You Joe, see Joe Baloney? Joe and Kevin were busy. They went a different day. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah. Matt. Did you see Sausage Party? All right, thank you. Thank you. Katie? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, it came out on my birthday. Fun fact. So me and my... Um, me, Jess, and Emma went to go see it. And we no, wanted... I never saw Sausage Party. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody asked you. <laughs> I asked him. Right. I asked him. The delay on this. John saw it with... When I went to go see it, John was with me. <laughs> well, you saw it with John? I did. What a cutie. <laughs> Honestly, if I had to sleep with anybody, it would not be John. Yeah, never again. I slept with him, and it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. They probably think you're gay. We're broken up. You're sleeping with other boys. My life is a roller coaster. Right now, it fell off the tracks. It landed on a separate roller coaster, the gay roller coaster. <laughs> I can't comment on sleeping with John, but. I don't Man, know. You basically sucked his penis a few times, Brian. Have you not? Well, I mean, who hasn't, but... I haven't. Because he doesn't like you. Nope. Uh, Finding Dory also came out. I never saw that. I thought you said you did see it. I said I wanted, I wanted to. Was it oh. good? Oh, it was, it was, cute. I it really was so liked good. It. So I good. It. Very good film. I gotta catch up with my Pixar movies. And then Katie, of course, attacks me when they say, oh, Game of Thrones came out on se season six came out. Aww. Not my favorite season, but, um, first season I watched oh, live. Oh, fucking Jon Snow took, uh, came back to life and took back the motherfucking North. How many times are you gonna bring that up? Again, Every he single time. He took back the North like two seasons ago, right? No, it took, this uh, no, this it, season, it was this season. Because uh, it was the most iconic moment of my entire season life. Season four was my favorite. Are you crazy? No, season three, uh, three and six were my favorite. The one with Daenerys and, uh... Season Daenerys 5 was the weakest. Gold, he got gold poured on him. Season 5 was the weakest. The, in my opinion. Oh, uh, yeah, season 6 good. Maybe it should go to the gym. Ah! Ah! Dedication. News. Uh, did you guys... I, I told Dylan this yesterday, but Katie, do you oh, know that it, Disney, it? Disney might buy Netflix now? No oh, I way! Thought, I thought you were really? going to bring up the Harrison Ford thing. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. yeah, oh we'll shit. talk about that shortly. Even though that's not exactly movie news, but it's a big, it's a big deal for Star Wars fans all over the world. Um, D- yeah, Disney might buy Netflix. Uh, really? Uh, wow, that would be a lot of fucking money for uh, for Disney to buy Netflix. They have so much. If I go on right now and see what Disney owns, it will be like chaotic as fuck. They own ABC Family. They own. Like, well, it's not called ABC Family anymore. Uh, what is it called? Freeform. Ew, what? Uh, I don't know. It's not my decision. Okay, the Walt Disney Company. Oh, Brian, I thought you were the executive over at Disney that was in charge of naming the TV channels. <laughs> you telling me I was wrong? <laughs> okay, so they own. Oh, shit. Here we go. Divisions. Here we go. So they own Walt Disney Studios, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Disney Theatrical Productions, which is like the Broadway shows and stuff, um, Pixar, Marvel, Mm -hmm. Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm, The Muppets Studio, Disney ABC Television Group. Wait, wait. Disney owns Marvel? Yes. That's dumb. No, no, well, no wonder why the movies are so. Well, cool not. Like. Well, not like they only they own. Like the only ones they don't own are like the X Men films and. Good. Um, That's uh, why X Men films are great. And half of Spider Man. Yeah, and half of Spider Man. <laughs> um, they own. Where, where was I? Uh, Disney ABC Television Group. They own eighty percent of ESPN. They own fifty percent of A and E. They own Radio Disney. Thirty-two percent of Hulu, and that's it. And now they might own Netflix. Uh, no, I, I, I hope that. they don't. They're no, they're such a monopoly. Disney might buy Netflix. Who Trump is gonna shut that shit down. <laughs> he he's not from Netflix. Actually, that might that might infringe on antitrust law with like video streaming because it's Hulu and Netflix. Like, besides HBO Go, what else is there? Amazon Prime. Okay. So, yeah. No, no I, I don't think they'll be able to buy Netflix if they already have part of a, part of a share of Hulu. Yeah, that might it, be an antitrust kind. Yeah, of thing. it's like a monopoly thing. Oh, the government, you can't do that because it's like the thing with the gas companies. Who was it? It was like Exxon or something Exxon like that. Mobile. Exxon Mobil. Yeah, Exxon, it was like something like that. And they were trying to buy all the... Um, they were so rich that they could buy all the gas companies, but then the government wouldn't allow them to do that because then they would lower the... Oh no, um, drink up the prices on everything and they'd give really cheap quality gas and then the country would go into like a crisis. So mm-hmm. then that's why they made like the antitrust laws and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So now you can't buy like... Well, that's um, not why they made them. They, yeah, I don't want... Made, like, their I don't want companies. Disney wow. to... Um, because of uh, to buy. standard oil. Um, I don't want Disney to buy um, this, to be quite I'm still waiting for a Star Wars Netflix show. I'm surprised that doesn't exist yet. With, the, with the, like, all the, the, the recent popularity of high-quality oh. TV stuff, I'm surprised. Speaking of Disney, as we all know, Moana's coming out next week, and The Rock has been named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. What are you showing him? That's Trump. That's it. It's actually him. It's actually him, though. It's actually Trump. That's Trump, but it, that, that's Vince McMahon. <laughs> that's so funny. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he would show up. He's he's in the wall. He's in the WWE Hall of Fame. He got his star like two years ago. That's so funny. It's crazy now that he's not hosting the Apprentice anymore. That's gonna be hosted by um. Do you know who's hosting the Apprentice? Uh, that the Apprentice oh, now. Oh, it's today. Yeah. First episode should come out like in February, I think. I'm actually watching it. Uh, what You're a, fired. <laughs> what what did I say? Uh, Dwayne Johnson has been named People so Magazine so live. It used to be Adam Levine. Yeah. Back back in uh, the good old days of 2012-13. Yeah, what else? What else is there? Oh, Steve Carell is in talks to join the Minecraft movie. I heard There's that. a Minecraft movie? It oh, might, is, it is might it come be, out good. Is it gonna, I, th- I feel like it will be. Is it going to be animated or? Uh, I hope uh, not. Uh, what do you mean you hope not? What, a live-action Minecraft movie? <laughs> That'd be movie? so fucking sick. Well, I mean... It, be done to it says, like it is money. uncertain what role Corral is being courted to play in an unannounced plot or if the film is still expected to be in live action as it was previously what? announced. Uh, the director of the film is um, Rob McAllenhe, who is from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and the writer is Jason Fuchs. I think that's his name. I don't know what he wrote. Yeah, a live action Minecraft movie, that'd be ridiculous. Absolutely. The, re- the release date is still May 25th, 2019. Oh, come on. That's, That's one year before we graduate. Uh. Hmm. What else? It's near my birthday. Thank you. For those of you out there that want to buy me Christmas presents. Yes, that I didn't even know they were. What? August. You're a horrible. Fu- it's 12. Stop it. Yeah, Stop fun. it. Stop. Oh my god. 7-Eleven was a part-time job. Yeah, you shut up about that. They Ma- can't know. Michael, Michael Keaton. 
the greatest Will man Wheaton. of all time. Uh, he has been confirmed as Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. And I don't know who that character is. I think he's like the real Birdman, even though Michael Keaton played Birdman in the movie called really? Birdman, which was awesome. Susan Scoot? Is that Susan Scoot? Scoot. Uh, fuck Birdman. you for hating Birdman. Birdman make no, made no sense to me. Because Why it's, was he flying around? I think it it's all a movie. dream. I never saw the that movie. That was the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. Because it's not a movie that everyone's going to understand. You need to think when watching that movie. <laughs> you see, when I watch a movie, I don't want to think. I just want well, I'm sorry, then. You shouldn't have watched show. Birdman. Matt Why'd you watch Matt, it in the Matt, first Matt, place? Matt, everybody. Music and film. Do you watch the whole movie? My music and film? Surprisingly, uh, No. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, no. Watched uh, like five minutes of the beginning, five to get minutes of the beginning, like ten minutes of like the whatever, and then uh, ten minutes of the whatever. I don't even know. That's, that's my favorite part he, of the movie, the whatever. He does things that I don't care. What about the wrestler? A movie I've never heard of until that class. <laughs> that's a thing. That's an awesome movie. If Trump wants to stop well, of illegal course immigration, it. if Trump wants to stop illegal immigration, why doesn't he just let him? Why doesn't Can we not talk employ, about this? Why doesn't he just employ frat guys to stand at the border and ask immigrants who they know here? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually so fucking funny. That's true too. My head is getting even worse. My head is getting even worse. Every single frat party, there's people saying they're like, "Who you know here?" Like <coughs> every single one, and you're like, what? Jun- 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 "Junkie <laughs> XL, the composer of Deadpool, has left Deadpool 2 because of Tim Miller's departure." You know, the whole Deadpool 2 drama is just—it's sad. Ryan Reynolds made his first comment about it the other day. I don't remember the exact words he said. I could probably find the quote. Um, before I do that, uh, it said that Tim Miller's going to be doing a live-action slash CGI movie of Sonic the Hedgehog. But oh he must do it God. if Jaleel White comes back to play Sonic. Really? If. This is it. But if this is actually happening. He is going to do a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Live-action? Live-action slash like CGI. Sonic is animated. Yeah, Sonic is animated. Oh, is he going to be like Sonic X? Right, that's that. They haven't. Show. They haven't like said the, anything. The kid that he that he like he he traveled universes and he met with the kid, but his parents were really rich. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Gotta go. Oh, here we go. So Ryan Reynolds made comments on Tim Miller's departure. I don't know if I want to read this, but. Wait. So what's happening with Deadpool two? He's about to read. This. Okay, so How come every five what, he doesn't na- he doesn't want to name any names, but the actor did say that he said this. Uh, Making the movie was very very difficult. It was the most passionate group of individuals I've ever worked with in my life, and for whatever reason, this mercurial crazy burgoo of people is what made this thing work so well. Not just because I had a vision and I saw this the this way, and it had to be this way. It worked because we all had that feeling. But there was. There were vaguely scary fights in the post-production process that escalated quickly. Luckily, everybody's grown up, and at the end, ev- bleh, bleh. luckily everybody's grown up, and at the end of the day, enjoys and loves each other. I hate Katie. Me too. But this that. isn't about the real Cinephiles. It's about Deadpool too. You know, it's sad. Please. Please. I'll be nice. Hey, I'm talking about Deadpool two. Look, this is really sad what's going on with Deadpool 2, but honestly, it's no, it's crazy that they had drama beforehand, even before the movie came out. Hey. Sorry, we're talking about my giant cock. Thank you. Um, no, but in all seriousness, this is kind of sad how, um, uh... That's the reason why Tim Miller sort of departed. Like they right, weren't, nice. they weren't getting along. That sucks. Oh, um, hey, um, so yeah, all right. Dylan Brob carried, ah, fi- ah! Dylan Brob Harrison Ford earlier. <laughs> Dylan, no, do, you, do you want? Do you want? Wait, I want to. <laughs> Dylan, do you want to announce what happened? Yes. So, bang bang. Well, yes. So Carrie Fisher kept this a secret for forty years. Apparently, her and Harrison Ford had a an affair while Harrison Ford was married to whoever he was married to, and he had two kids. During the original, was it the whole trilogy or the first movie? It was just A New Hope. So, she was 19 at the time. Harrison was 33. First off, a little weird. Second off, good job, Harrison. Good job? He cheated on his wife. Yes, with the princess. That's horrible. Who was hot at the time. Doesn't matter. She's dead now. She never knew. That's horrible. (laughs) I know. That is really horrible, actually. It really is horrible. 
<laughs> but it was the 70s. Everybody had an affair. That's true. And everybody did drugs. And I mean, if they make like a comment saying, oh, like, why don't you tell me? And, I'm, and it's like, it was 40 years ago. The past is the past. Let it's it go. Horrible. It really, like, let it go. Except for the Bill Cosby stuff. That need, that stuff needs to be... That's different. Um, Bill Cosby's innocent. Uh, who made a joke about Bill Cosby yesterday? Remember the joke of him and um, Ted Chu? Say a person's name. Bill Cosby. It was like, if you want to go to a coffee shop, who do you see? Bill Cosby. Or Robin Williams. It was something like that. Who was like, with? They made a joke about Bill Cosby yesterday. It was, like, horrible. Well, it wasn't me. I it was like a that. teacher. Oh, my God. Was it Tony? Yeah, it was Tony. Oh, God, we what about, did Tony say? Uh, this guy, someone, someone in our class is moving to schools, and the school is where Bill Cosby lives. He's like, oh, I'm switching to this school. And he goes, watch out for Bill Cosby. And I'm like, oh, I just, I've started dying. It was so funny. <laughs> he like, casually makes a rape joke. Tony casually makes any kind of joke. But, where... I mean, it was a guy that was moving, so it wasn't as funny if a girl was moving. True. That's true. Uh, what else happened? Oh, Quentin Tarantino officially confirmed his retirement. He's doing two more films, and then that's it. Then, then he's really? done. Yep. Who? Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino, the guy who made guy Django from... Unchained, oh. Pulp Fiction. The guy from Epic Rap Battles of History. Yeah, him. That's cool. The guy from Jimmy Neutron that they paired. Quentin Smithy. My name is Quentin Smithy. That's the croissant episode. Yes. That is it. That's the iconic croissant. The, the, the Jimmy Neutron cinematic universe. Uh, Actually crosses over with Timmy Turner. So Timmy Turner's candy. You know, Neutron I've been watching like random so episodes. I've been watching random episodes of Fairy Odd Parents lately. You know the person that voices the Crimson Chin is Jay Leno? Yeah, I did. I didn't know that. I looked that up the other day. And then the episode I was watching, Jay Leno appears and he's like, Hey everybody, it's oh, TV's Adam West. And it was kind of funny. It was actually really funny. Yeah, there's one bear. There's another. You can always call me. And me. And me. Not me. I got canceled. Um, I don't get that. Who was that? Oh, it was all the Crimson Chins yeah, getting he, together, and he, it was the 80s one who was all, like, Rambo-like, mm -hmm. and he got canceled because he swore in the comic. <laughs> He's like, no me. Crimson Chin could swear, except for the 80s one. Yeah, and I got canceled for it. But then when they all go back into the comic, they're like, oh, Timmy, if you ever need something, you can always call me, and me, and me. Hey, Not me, I, I got cancelled. From, uh, from Fallout 3. Huh? The what? place from Fallout 3, where you go into that machine, and then you're in, like, that happy place, and you follow that girl around, and it's really weird. You follow a girl around? Yeah, that's kind of weird. What else happened? Mm, I love uh, first image of Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill was released. For what movie? Something about World War II? Pretty much, but it actually got... Alright, first, I'm going to show you to a photo of Gary Oldman. Just himself. I know it, um... Okay. This is Gary Oldman. He's known for playing Commissioner Gordon in the Dark Knight films. I was films. just about to say, yeah. And he was uh, Sirius Black in Harry Potter. He's going to be Churchill? Yeah, he looks now, like now, here we go with the photo. And this is not... This is, like, real. I'm telling you this right now. I just want to bet it's not real. It, is that sarcasm? Winston, Winston Churchill yes. was a big, fat, bald guy. Yeah. Big, fat, bald guy. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that'll be me. I'm supposed to go see my advisor at 2, but I, I don't want to. Matt, you have to. You have to, oh, Matt. Yeah, you need, you need to get your pin, otherwise you can't register for classes. I have until Friday. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Yo, they fucking nailed that. Okay, could you explain to the people who Winston Churchill is because you're such a history junkie? Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of Great Britain dur uh, during World War II. Basically, he See, was, why did he you major in history? Basically, I don't know. basically That's common knowledge, Brian. He no, was, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he, was, was, he was the guy that came before Hitler who ruled Germany. Yeah. He was cool. Um, he punched Ronald Reagan. The best. <laughs> The Battle of Britain was um, all fought in the air, and he was like the obviously the commander in chief during that time, and it was one of the most successful battles in history. And if Germany would have won that battle, they w they potentially could have controlled the whole world right by now. So uh, because of the Battle of Britain and Winston Churchill, we're um, we're doing good, and it's you can doing good. we're doing good, and um, we can thank the Beatles. Uh, you can thank the Beatles for uh, Winston. Tr you can thank Winston Churchill for the Beatles too, because John Lennon was born in a. Um, Bomb shelter in Britain when they were um when when it was going on and that's how and like he was like inspired by that and that's how like the Beatles became so um how the Beatles became yep how the Beatles became uh, see that's the thing I always like to explain things but I, I need time to process it so I just I just say stupid things 
was what else was there? Well, yeah, uh, I don't know when the, I don't know when this movie comes out. I think it comes out like next year. Uh, and then and then they just cast Freddie Mercury. A few, uh, what they cast? Well, I wanted it to be Sasha Baron Cohen because, first of all, if you look at Sasha Baron Cohen and you just slap a mustache on him, he would automatically, automatically what, what, what look is like Freddie Mercury doing in the same movie as Winston Churchill. No, no, I said they. No, this is a different movie. This oh. is about the Queen. Well, it's gonna be a Freddie Mercury biopic, but it's gonna be also about like Queen, I believe. Oh. So here's the thing. This is what all of us wanted. We all wanted Sasha Baron Cohen. As him, because I think he would have been a perfect Freddie Mercury. So what did we get? We got the guy from Mr. Robot, Rami Malek. Now, Rami Malek, I mean, wait, do you guys like Night at the Museum? Yes. Mm. He plays Atmana, fourth king of the fourth king. The, the pharaoh guy. The from the first one? <laughs> oh, I love that guy! He's so hot! But, like, he's not going to be Freddie Mercury. He doesn't look like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Well, I mean, they ca I mean, Michael Fassbender didn't look like Steve Jobs, and he was awesome as Steve Jobs. Uh, Dylan. I am Steve Jobs. Pussy lover, 13. What did I do? Uh, no, because after I said Steve Jobs, Kate was like, nah, 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 nah. Can we talk about the trailers? All I wanted to say was that he was cast as Freddie Mercury. He's a good actor, so he'll probably do good, and the guy that's going to be directing this film is Brian Singer, who made the X-Men films. Oh! And, it's g and the movie's going to be called Bohemian Rhapsody. That's cool. So Do they, they have the rights to the song, or is it gonna be like that Full House documentary where it was just no? Uh, it was just no, no, this isn't gonna be like a lifetime thing. This is gonna be an actual. There's so many more good thing. songs though, besides Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, but I mean, that is what got them to their fame, made it one of the greatest songs. But all right, trailers, Train Spawn Two. Dylan was confused by this. I was very confused. Well, it's a sequel. That's the first thing. Uh, you probably won't like the first one because it's one of those you know films for, you know, filmies. Yeah. Ew. Not filmies, Nick. Fuck, but, fuck, fuck. Shut up. Can't but yell. that's like that's Charlie's favorite movie of all time, Train Spawn. Why? Because he's a film person. He likes actual films. You like movies. Yeah, because what makes money? That doesn't mean that films can't make money. What makes? Money? I love I love m like my Star Wars and Potter, but like I like, you know. Actual films, and yes, Train Spawn is a very fucked up film. The sequel, though, looks, in my opinion, incredible. And you're like, "Where's Hugh McGregor?" Hugh McGregor was basically I, in every I, frame I, of the trailer. I, I, I didn't recognize him. He and does. He that, does look different. And when his he's, accent you know, was very Scottish for some reason. Because he is very. I think he is Scottish. He just knows how to hide it when he's Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, the based on the manga anime. I don't know which is based on. Hey Matt, have you ever seen Ghost in the Shell? Yes. Is it an anime or manga? Or both? It's a movie. Studio Ghibli? It's an anime mo animated movie. Oh my god, speaking of Studio Ghibli, Hayao Miyazaki's coming out of retirement just to make one more movie. I believe this, actually. He's coming out of retirement to make yeah, one more movie. Okay, Matt in the anime department over there is going to fact check that. Yes. And speaking of Studio Ghibli, St uh, Spirited Away is going to be released in theaters. Next oh. year for its 15th anniversary. Oh, that, that movie creeps me out. I, I used to have nightmares about it for like... A year straight. I don't know what it is about Studio Ghibli movies, but they just, they just look weird. Like they have like an insane amount of detail. They just creep, they creep me out too. Yeah, it's an animated movie in from Japan. Yeah. John said the movie, the um, original one is awesome. He says like, yeah, I was, I need to check that it out. Andrew made me watch that was really boring. Boring. Uh, Boring, yes. Well, I, I kind of trust John, so I'm really? going to try to watch it. Oh, I mean, I kind of want to before I see this Ghost in the Shell movie with, um, uh, whatever her name. What's her name? So Scarlett Johansson. Is the greatest anime movie, so huh? Like, Who? Spirited what did I do? Away. What happened? Spirit of is going to be re-released in theaters next year for its 15th anniversary. It's really good. It is good, but it is, like Kay said, creepy as fuck. I keep trying to How's <laughs> Moving Castles better? Compensate. What's going on? I'm her how to Dylan's play playing Call COD as we're recording teach, the teach, podcast. Teach Katie how to play Call of Duty. Could you specify to the audience which one it is to be this exact? Is COD for a remaster. I don't know what to do. You need to aim and shoot at the same Go time. meet your advisor. Yeah, you have to meet your advisor, Pat. You already made you made an appointment. Those are hard to get. I didn't make an appointment. It just said stop by between these times. What were the times? Two to four. Oh, oh so then just stop. Yeah, you don't have to go at 2, then. But I have class. I just don't want to go at all. Don't you have class at, like, 6 o'clock? Wait, Matt, you need your... I'm lazy! Wait, Matt, if you really are that lazy, just email them and they'll give you your PIN number. 
But then, did you look up all your CRN codes for your classes yet? I'm guessing not. Hmm? Did you look up all your CRN numbers for all the classes you want to take? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> all of you are so fucked. We have to... On Friday, we have to get all of our... C like, I already have my whole I don't want to have now. class you with you. You your pins and then you go to... No, no you're I don't do want to have no, class with joking. you. No, you don't. You can't. Do hey, you're gonna hey, fuck up hey. everything. I don't want to have class with you, Katie. Well, too bad because Dylan's taking the class with me. So I'm going to my advisor. So that's what's gonna you happen. Suck at this, home. Let me Listen, go. I'm going to I want to have Ryan at a good time so I don't have Friday Dude, this, classes. This gun is gay. How do you, how, do you, do you know that? I might not have Friday you, classes oh! next semester. I literally just pr I pressed random buttons and I got that. I know. I don't. If I get all the ones all I right, want. What time's your damn thing ending? Podcast. Uh, they, if they correspond, then uh, we'll just talk about these trailers. They okay, because we're gonna go eat at two thirty because my diabetes is gonna start. I need to leave. Oh fuck you. Okay, okay. Leave. Leave. Those are the show. Me. Hey, Dylan, do you think it looks good, bad, or ugly? You ugly. I think I might give it a try. What are you talking about? Ghost, Ghost in the Shell trailer. Maybe. Katie, good, bad, or ugly? Good. Why? I don't remember which one we're talking Scarlett about. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She's hot. That's it. She okay, is. She is kind Katie's of. Katie's review of Ghost in the Shell. She was hot. Lego Batman. Yes. Fuck that movie. Why? It's stupid. No. You, no, you're Why just saying that because you don't like the Lego movie. I hate Ben Affleck and I hate. He's, that that's movie. not Ben Affleck. Is that not? No. No, it's oh, Will Arnett. No. It's Bojack Horseman. Bojack Horseman. Oh, oh, then I like it. It's a great they made movie. the Lego movie before Ben Affleck was great even movie. cast as Batman. Ten out, of, ten out of ten. Great movie. I'm Why would you did that? That did not sound like Ben Affleck's Batman. Ben Affleck's Batman had a... Uh, this one had a... Uh, it's, it's like a mix of Christian Bale and Bojack Horseman. It's literally a mix of them two. Uh, I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I like it. I'm the occasional... Alfred. Apartment. I like that. Look, I know Katie hates La La Land, apparently, and she hasn't seen it. I think La La Land I, I, I looks fantastic. Look at the trailer. I think it looks fantastic because it's from the same guy who made Whiplash, so, yes. <laughs> one time I was in science class, my friend got really bad <laughs> My stuff it was Simus. Simus is like, Mr. Hewden is like, has anybody ever had whiplash because it was about velocity or something? And Simus goes, I went on a roller coaster once and my neck got stuck like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, That's not whiplash. He can let go of a chance. <laughs> I remember when you told us that story. That story is so funny. Uh, ah! one, Wonder Woman looks good. It does. It actually genuinely looks good. It, it's finally um um woman um ow woman uh, pro woman for once. Now that Trump's um president, we're not gonna have many rights anymore. So at least they finally. They I want movie. Captain Marvel Wait, to come out. Like that. You voted for him. I know. <laughs> I want Captain Marvel to come out. That's what I want. I want the DC Captain Marvel. Captain to come Underpants. Out. The one where Shazam? I, wait, they should make a fucking Shazam movie of Captain are. Underpants. They are? Yes, yes, they are. Oh my god, I can't... Captain, wait, so Captain not... what? Underpants? Captain Underpants. Yeah, wait, it's wait, coming out in the summer. That's retarded. Wait, oh, he's fucking dying. Then why'd you say you were excited for he's it? Dying. Oh, wait, did I'm you say... kidding. That, that's that stupid. I wonder who's playing Captain Underpants. Steve I don't look that up. Steve <laughs> oh, oh, Matt would love that. Okay, you're gonna get better at this game. Listen, this is my like uh, first time playing in like a year. No, Let's see who's playing play Captain that. Underpants. Captain Underpants is played by oh my God, oh my God. Ed, Ed Helms from I think The Office. Was wrong. Wait, Ed Helms from that The Office? Whiplash. What? Was Simus this thing? <laughs> it's when you get jolted or jerked and then you get an injury. Yeah, what, yeah, Katie? Yeah, no, it's like that, but it's like your brain gets hit. But wait, wait, um, Ed Helms from The Office wasn't like that. that um, <laughs> uh, look him up. I want to see what he's Ed Helms is from The Hangover. He plays Stu. Glasses. This guy. Ooh. Ew, he's hot. Why is he playing Captain Underpants? It's a, it's an anime movie. Oh. Why would it be live action? Oh, if it was live action, I'm then I would kill so myself. Excited. I would kill myself action. if it was. I well, it's from DreamWorks, so no. Oh, no please stop hitting. Oh, Jersey, stop hitting my head. Stop. Ah. Stop. Ah. Stop. Oh, I literally think it's giving me a concussion, and that's why what I'm talking saying? so stupid lately. That's not how that works. Stop. Get stupider. <laughs> Okay, ba back to La La Land just for a quick second. Uh, it's probably going to win oh Best God. Picture at the Oscars, I and I can't so wait to see it. Ah, oh, which one should like we talk it, about first? Like hey, hey, hey! hey. Like should we talk about I the Star Wars ripoff first or the Disney? Star Wars Star Wars. No, no, let's Star talk about Beauty. No, you guys have Star less to say about Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> you guys have less to say about Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I hate. Why would you hate Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> it just looks. Like it looks dumb. I hate every like, single like romance movie in the fucking world. No, like visually, it looks like shit. Like, the, they, they're like Todd's worth, Clocksworth, and Lumiere. 
They just Ewan McGregor's out. French accent sounds horrible. He was in it. Oh. What? Who, which one is he? He's playing Lumiere. <laughs> fuck, fuck. His French fuck, accent fuck. sounds really bad. Like, really bad. Well, I'm bad. on a five kill streak. I didn't don't, even kill five people. Don't know why they worse. didn't get... That they should have probably yeah. cast an American to play Belle. No offense to Emma Watson, but they should have probably She's cast American. an American. Why? It takes place in France. Yeah, but in the uh, anime movie, she had an American accent. In this one, it's just her British accent. Yeah. I heard now they're going to reverse everything by Emma saying that she's Watson an inventor. is beautiful. I never said she wasn't. <laughs> I think she's no, a, a little overrated. Beast, Beast looks like shit. I don't know. I don't think she's that great. Right, oh, Kate, okay, don't be such a prude. No, I'm just... Oh, oh, oh I'm the she's prude. far from it. Oh, I'm I'm talking bitch. about the tweet. Oh, at me, bitch. Oh. Yeah, at you Still indeed. Look, oh, I was going to At you indeed. I think Beauty and the Beast <gasps> looks good. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was my I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry. I think it looks good. Hello. 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 I said I'm sorry. I think it looks good. Fine. Nobody's listening. I don't think it looks good. I think it looks All right, good. Back to the Star Wars ripoff. Wait. Literally. Wait. Hold on. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this, I didn't think of Star Wars until you kept on saying Star How Wars. How did you not think of Star they because I want. Because I don't like the filmmaker. I hate him. I hate Luke Besson. I hate the guy. Have you seen Lucy? Yeah. Lucy is a no, piece I of turd. I heard it was bad. It was a piece of turd. The only good thing he made was the Fifth Element and Leon the Professional. There's a Fifth Element. I thought there was only um. Uh, There's a hundred and like twenty five elements. Oh my. No, no. What is it? hundred and forty something. <laughs> First of all, apparently this French comic, oh my God. Star Wars, aim your gun. Because then, then I take time away from my. No, shooting. no, you, you shoot. Bad. You can do it at the shoot same time. Aim. You do it at the same time. So what's that going to do? I don't get it. It's how you play Call of Duty. To shoot people. I, I I don't have enough time. I just what? Don't... You're retarded. You know, I wanted to finish this so that Dylan doesn't have to say, "Oh, let's hurry this up." It's let's half... hurry this up. Let's hurry okay. This up. Apparently, this French comic was yeah, inspired Star- or inspired Tokyo Star Wars. Is apparently canceled, and no game, no life. Apparently, is not going to have a second season, which pisses me off. Over, what? Over in the anime department. Still, and it's vibrating. Everything's vibrating. Oh. <laughs> okay, this sounds wrong over the audio. It sounds kind of wrong. Everything's vibrating. Everything's vibrating. Hey, Dylan, come on. Come on, Dylan. Get up here. Are you Explain. About Star Wars ripoff? Yes, I want to hear Dylan's perspective. All right. Well, I didn't say anything. Okay, so. Dylan. Like literally, like some of the scenes were shot for shot. You have to... Some of the scenes were a shot for shot ripoff of Star Wars. I'm going to make I don't a know comparison. How to fucking run. This so, is horrific. so you just you just stay tuned. Like literally, when the oh, fish hits the little ship, it's directly ripped from when from the Phantom Menace when they were in. What was the boat called? Don't remember and don't care because uh, no, they were in the ah, a, a, a bogo. It was a bogomo or something, and they no, got. No, why, why won't it let me run anymore? You need to crouch. I will agree with you and oh, say. <laughs> I will agree with you and say that ended shot where he jumps and then lands. That is basically a copy off of that scene from. Attack of the Clones. Yeah, yeah, it looks like when Anakin jumped out in Coruscant, and then the other scene looks like people straight out of Maz Kanata's cantina. Yeah, literally. Like, well, it looks literally like, remember the big guy, the girl the girl that called the First Order, the, the big giant guy with the tusks? Yes. That literally just looked just like him. No. They ripped off uh, Fuck Cara Delevingne. I, uh, I hate Cara Delevingne. I don't like her. She's bad in pretty much, she was bad in Paper Town, she was bad in Suicide Squad. I was supposed to see that movie with Brie. Never did. What, Paper Towns? Yeah. Weak movie. Well, actually, no, it's not weak. She's horrible in it. I don't know why people... Katie, you're a girl. Why do... Why do... <laughs> Am I right? Am actually, I... you're not. I don't know why I said that. No, but in all seriousness, why do girls seem to think that um, Cara Delvin's hot? And why do boys think that she's hot? I don't think that she's hot at all. Because her, uh, cause she has a nice face. And it's like her. she has really nice green eyes. And girls like her eyebrows. Cause <laughs> all her girls eyebrows are like, ugly! I know, but the girls like the thick eyebrows. Not but they're so crooked! They're like a hook. Well, so is my face, and girls still like me. Well, I mean, none of those things are true. <laughs> my face isn't crooked. But anyways, Valerian like kind of looks. Eh. It looks bleh. I don't know why they're trying to do a Force Awakens thing. Okay, movies coming out. Uh, By the way, what about the one where is Vin Diesel with the skateboard? Oh God, Triple X Three. 
Yeah, that looks bad. Okay, I don't get it. First of all, he's skiing on a bus. He's jet skiing in the jungle. He's riding a um, fucking dirt bike in the ocean. And what it's else? It's actually possible. Do? That's not CGI. They actually did that. I, I'm aware, but I still don't. That's not, I'm sorry. Look, cheesy action movies are always fun, but this one actually looks, looks like very bad. It's like a poor bad. man fast and furious. Like, you know, if he qu- says this... and angry. And the funny thing is Fast 8 comes out in April. And the funny thing is the trailer comes out exactly... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The trailer comes out in like More three weeks. the anime department... <laughs> From the game on your phone, uh, Chain Chronicle, that is getting an anime. <laughs> I like the on anime. On December 3rd. When did we open up the anime department? <laughs> like five minutes ago. Can we get a sign? <laughs> Put it over your bed, the anime department. <laughs> Matt's Opinion Corner. Pokemon Sun and Moon is also coming. Crack your toe. <laughs> Movie's <November> coming out. Fuck. <laughs> Bleed for this. Bleed for this. Bleed for this. This is a boxing film with um. The hell is his name? What the hell is his name? Miles Teller. Excuse me. Um. Sometimes more when I get a blood. Miles Teller. Uh, Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, the greatest movie ever made. Sometimes. The newer Fantastic Four. Correct. The old newer Fantastic Four. Correct. Well, I mean, the older Mr. Wait, who was the older Mr. Fantastic? I remember him being good. He was in... I think he was in Titanic. Which K forbids to watch, apparently. Fuck that. Johnny Blaze was Chris Evans. Quiz. The way you said Chris. Awesome. Quiz. Chris Evans. That was one of the best movies yeah, ever and, and, made. And the, the original Fantastic Four. Yeah, and then, so the new, and then the new um Johnny Blaze was... um That black guy. I love Michael B. Jordan. He's a Apollo Creed's son. Michael Creed. Jordan was the Blaze? No, no, no. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Space Jam turned 20 yesterday. At the day of the, as of the day of this yeah, recording, it, it, it could almost buy alcohol. <laughs> see, that's a movie that also got re-released on Blu-ray. I want to get it, but money. We need to rent it and watch it. We could have watched Welcome it yesterday. Welcome to Anime Department. What? Attack on Titan Season 2 is confirmed and it's coming back. It's about fucking time. I wasn't going to end it. Season when four, is it coming back? Four years well, ago. Well, no. Because they were making Yeah, they, they made a movie. Stopped. Making season two, they, really? they they thought it wasn't gonna happen, but uh, now it's coming back. Didn't they make a March movie? March thirtieth, two thousand seventeen. Didn't they make a movie? Oh, and Aaron's life may be in danger. That, that's what it says on the article. <laughs> who's 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 Aaron? The main character. Which one? All right, we're gonna include a screenshot in the video right now. So <laughs> so Brian, you actually have editing to do. What's Practically the timestamp right now? Attack on Titan's name. Uh, three three. I'm thirty seven. Fourteen. All right, thirty-seven, fourteen. Matt, put screenshot. A picture, yeah, put a picture of Matt. Send wall. me that, please. <laughs> well, they, oh, by the way, this isn't even audio anymore for a while. It's not gonna be audio only for a while. Oh, As an iTunes, it's not gonna be on speechless. iTunes for a while, huh? A herpes breakthrough leaves Doctor speechless. Doctor who? Doctor Strange. <laughs> Doctor Strange. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick's suspension may last forever. <laughs> what are these articles? All right, uh, bleed for this looks good. Edge of Seventeen also looks good, uh, and Fantastic Beast looks very good too. And I that is it. Really cool. oh, oh, Brian, there's mm-hmm. a book came out yesterday that's the prequel to Rogue One, which is a prequel to Episode Four, but it's a sequel to Episode Three. So, but is it at the well, actually it's also a prequel to Episode Three. This book it start it starts it starts one year into the Clone Wars, so it's actually it's a, it's also a prequel to the Clone Wars animated series. Oh, Jesus Christ! But it's it so much it turned my head. But I, it's. It starts, like, as soon as episode two ends, and it finishes I right before Rogue One's ends. I fucking game. It's impossible. Like, it takes place during Revenge of the Sith, and then right after, like, clone troopers are wearing stormtrooper armor, like, they're still transitioning, they're, like, switching the Venonator-class Star Destroyers for the Imperial-class Star Destroyers. I bought it. I'm gonna start reading it. Mm-hmm. I heard it was very good and worth it, but you don't need it to understand Rogue One, but it'll help you like connect with the characters more and like have. More I don't want to like read anything to, uh, about Rogue One. There's no spoilers. No, it's Rogue like one. it's like the prequel to Rogue One. Just yeah, about yeah, but the, I the kind guy, of like going Garen just... Erso, the, her dad. Mm. Wait, what's the name of the guy that Forrest Whitaker's Correct. character? What's his name? Saw Saw Guerrera. Saw Guerrera. It was a... funny seeing him, Hawkeye, and Lois Lane in Arrival last week, which by the way was fantastic. Um, How old is uh? Fozzie Whittaker, whatever that guy is. Forrest like. Whitaker's like 50... Uh, Fo- Fozzie Whittaker's a football player. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker's like 53. Dude, I hate running in this game. It's Katie, impossible. Katie, I just need... Be honest and just don't be like, oh, it's so stupid and everything. Uh-huh. Just why... Why... <laughs> why do you hate... 
Don't break my computer. Hey, hey, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions film Shut slash Canada premiere date moved to January 27th. Oh, no. Wait, it's an American film, too? Yeah. Is it live oh. action? Uh, I don't think so. Hey, hey, hey. Stop stop messing around wait, with wait, the mic. Wait, 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 what, what did you want to ask him? Why? <laughs> be honest. Why do you... I, I, I'm not saying you have to like this more than Star Wars. Why do you hate Harry Potter? Be, no, be honest. Like, give, give, <laughs> just be, like, honest. Money weed. <laughs> Just kidding. Man, we all left. <laughs> oh, Brian, he gives me the puppy dog eyes. It's so sad. Because answer legit, the legit. Because I like Harry Potter. Okay. Harry Potter is bigger than me. Answer, I'll answer. I just think it's it's too um childish for me. Hmm. It's what do you mean kidding. by childish? They don't curse. They don't have sex. They don't. There's no. There's not that much violence. Um, Harry Potter's not hot. Um. He Daniel Radcliffe uh, is very hot. First of all, so um, is, uh, first of all, Emma Watson. First of all, there is Snape. Rest in peace. Um, oh my God, I shot them the helicopter. Ooh. First of all, <laughs> it gets more violent later on towards the end of the series. Second of all, Star Wars is not that violent either. Let's not let's not forget that. Okay, the Star whole series happened because of sex that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> to be very fair, yeah. If Anakin didn't have sex, the Star Wars wouldn't have happened. Yeah, is that crazy? Yeah, but it's not like. And then Palpatine yeah. raped. But what do you mean? Race. What do you mean violent? What do you mean by violent? I want blood and guts everywhere. Well, they then watch the last Harry Potter. The orc in the begin the the the, the, oh. the troll that was in the basement. He had there was a bunch of snot all over the place in the first movie. I've only ever seen the first one. The first one's the most. And by the way, the first one actually came out 15 years ago today. Which really? Is, That's kind of damn. I got normal. I know. No, but the thing is, like you said, Dan. What were you, what were you gonna say after Dan Radcliffe's not hot? Um. No, it's like, I, do, I don't, there's so much to understand, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, and there's eight very, very long movies that I don't want to watch. I just, I, I'm just not into it. There's just some things you're not into. Like, and there's going to be eight of these! Like, Brian, are you into anal? Why would some, you ask me that? Like, some people are just not into certain things. Yeah, like, but the way you make yeah. it out about Harry Potter, you make it seem like it's the worst thing in the world. No, I, 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 I just, It's like, just, it just doesn't tickle my peach, so I'm not going to watch it. Okay. Nothing against Potterheads. Yeah. Like I'm not against you guys for loving Star Wars. It doesn't prick my cat. I, I just, I just have a stronger <laughs> love for Harry Potter. And I don't know oh, why. More from the anime department. Oh, more from the anime department. Everybody. Okay. I don't think this is a really well-known uh, anime, being that it's only subs. So we're gonna cut you off. Anime. Back to us. But is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon? Great anime is getting a season two in 2017. Hopefully. <laughs> so far, that, that's what it said. Is that so if you like the anime, which I do, it's coming. Yeah. So there was no topic this week, but hey, next week we'll find, we'll figure out something to do. We'll, we'll figure out something related to um, uh, giving thanks, um, because Thanksgiving's next week. You could use your knife. Hit the other button. No, I don't want to use the knife. Wait. Give us like twenty more, like at least a minute. Okay, guys. That's the end. That is the end of this very silly episode of the Real Cinephiles Movie Podcast. Now this is gonna be on Brian Suffield's YouTube channel. You should probably re-upload all of the old ones to your old to your channel. I'm gonna add a playlist. And I will put a link for it in, in the description below. And you can find all the older episodes there. So, yes, for now on, this show will be on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Brian Setfield. And, yes, follow me on Twitter at Brian Set 98 And follow Dylan at, wait, official. I'm thinking, uh, I was about to mix it up with your Instagram name. Official I'm underscore D underscore Kel. Kel. He knows. That's, that's K-E-L-L. That's K-A-T-A-E-M-O-Y-L-E. And, and then you follow Katie at, at well, K... Wait, I don't know how Katie spells out her Twitter. Um, K-A-T-I-E <laughs> underscore M-Zero-Y-L-E. Why zero, not O? Oh. <laughs> Go to, like, Walmart. Because I Where's have the another... I have department? another... Uh, but never mind. I'm not going to mention that. All right. Um, have a good day. Bye. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Uh, and... uh, uh, here's my thing. Oh, here we go. Dylan has to do a quote. Watch more anime. Okay. Ready, everybody? Uh, okay. Brandon went into the woods to find Jesus, but all he found was pussy. End it, Brian.